this section we'll be talking about Tourette's disorder. First of all, Tourette's disorder is a clinical diagnosis. That means you make the diagnosis by what you see, what's reported by the family. The first thing is that you have to have multiple motor tics plus at least one vocal tic present almost every day for more than a year, onset before 18 years old, and you can't have any sort of medical condition, uh, medications or substance better accounting for the disorder. Now Tourette's has a lot of emotionality tied to it. Um, often families come in and, and they'll have a child with um, very debilitating motor tics, maybe some vocal tics that are causing problems at school, social impairment, maybe even some functional impairments or discomfort. And at the end of the appointments, I diagnose their child with a transient tic disorder, and they almost wipe the sweat off their brow. They're so happy that, oh, my goodness, doctor, I thought I was going to get a diagnosis of Tourette's disorder here. So tic disorders can be very severe, but not necessarily Tourette's disorder. On the other hand, I can have children come in who have multiple motor tics plus one vocal tic for more than a year, meeting diagnostic criteria for Tourette's disorder, and be very mild. And so at the end of those appointments, I'll, I'll circle something like uh, um, on the diagnosis sheet, and we'll end up talking about diagnosis, and it's uh, Tourette's disorder, and the family leaves very dis distraught at that. It's important to realize that, uh, with just a, a couple of exceptions which we'll talk about, a diagnosis of Tourette's is just a clinical diagnosis for a certain combination of uh, tics. Now, Tourette's disorder does tend to be more noticeable and cause more functional problems than tic disorders. For one thing, there's vocal tics involved. So vocal tics tend to be more disruptive. Uh, people tend to notice them more. For example, you can have a very severe, say, eye blinking tic or facial grimace, and people might not even notice it too much. It looks a little bit like a, a habit or uh, maybe dry eyes or clearing your throat. Um, a vocal tic is something that families tend to notice more. It can be more disruptive in the classroom, and children may be teased more. So there's that part of the the severity of Tourette's disorder, um, considering the different diagnoses and, and families worrying about Tourette's. And the second thing is prognosis changes a little bit. You're slightly less likely to outgrow Tourette's syndrome than, say, a simple motor tic. Uh, 